Hey, what's up? This is Mark, and today we're going to be installing Doomy Max on this MacBook Air running on Apple Silicon. And we see that we don't have Homebrew installed, so let's go ahead, head over to brew.sh and install Homebrew. Now, be careful here. We don't want to install Homebrew using this default script that's meant for Bash, the born again shell, because we are using the default ZSH shell as we are using Mac OS. And we actually see here under the Mac OS requirements that, hey, are you sure that you are running the born shell, which we're not, and so if you're not, then we cannot use this one line install. So we are probably using ZSH. Actually, let's just go ahead and check that we do have ZSH as our shell. So I'm just going to echo the shell variable here and let's take a look here. Yeah, we are running the uh, ZSH shell. So great. Now let's go ahead and clear the screen and then we're going to go ahead and install Homebrew. So heading back over to the website, we're just going to back up a little bit here to the homepage and we are going to head over to GitHub where we will be able to download, scrolling down to the bottom of the page here, the Homebrew package. And this is great because it's just a one click install uh, once it's downloaded. And this is essentially doing the same thing as that one line script. In fact, this is going to install Homebrew in the OPT Homebrew path. And let's go ahead and continue, agree to the license agreement and install. Now you will be prompted for your password. Let me enter mine. And then since we are using Mac OS, we will be asked for permission to write these files. We agree, the files are written, and we are pretty much installed. Now there is a next step here, and that, that is to add Homebrew to our path. And I'm gonna show you right here that brew is not on our path because I go, which brew? Well, brew not found, but we just installed brew. Uh, meaning that it's not on our path. Now they are giving us a command to do this, brew shell env. Now we can't actually run this though, because if I go brew shell env, then we still get brew not found. So the command is not found. So because it's not on our path. So we're gonna need to go and find that command. So we're gonna go print working directory, and then we are going to change into the OPT directory. Let's do an LS here, and there is the homebrew directory that I want. So let's change into the homebrew directory and list again. Now there is that binary directory that I'm interested in because brew is a binary X executable. So we're going to change into binary list and there is that brew binary. So we're going to go dot forward slash brew for the brew command and we are going to pass in here shell env and that is the magic that we need to add homebrew to our path. Now it actually hasn't added it to the path automatically because if I go which brew uh, that we're running again it's just going to return that it cannot find the brew command so it hasn't been added to the path and we're going to do that now so we're going to copy the magic here and we are going to go to the home directory so i'm going to go cd enter after a space and we're in the home directory then i can just vim into my zshrc file here and I'm just gonna go ahead, run down in here, add homebrew to the path. And then let's just uh, add a line in here and then paste this in. And then we can go ahead and write followed by quit. Perfect. Now we're just going to source our uh, ZSHRC file. And now we should have brew in our path. Let's try it. And let me just uh, do a print working directory here. So you can see that I'm not in the directory where the brew command is. And then we're gonna go which brew, and there it is. We have successfully installed Homebrew. So now we can actually get started with the process of installing Emacs. Now let's just go ahead, clean up here a little bit. Yeah, move the installer to the bin and head on over to GitHub, where we will access my favorite flavor of Emacs running on macOS, which is Emacs Plus. 
And so we're just going to scroll down a little bit here so that we can grab the code here to access the D12 Frost and Emacs Plus repository. So we're gonna need to change over to this tab. And that essentially means we're accessing a Git repository in this case. All right, so now that we have this installed, or at least we've changed into this tab, we can go ahead and brew install Emacs. Now we are gonna copy brew install Emacs Plus. We're gonna copy this and paste it in to our shell here. Now don't press enter. We need to add some options to this before we press enter. Otherwise you're gonna get an install that doesn't work. Now we are installing 29.1, I believe by default. Uh, so, we are going to do so with native compilation. So uh, that is going to be the, with the option with native comp. And don't press enter yet because you might want to add a beautiful custom icon. Scrolling down all the way to the icons. Let's find something that looks modern here. Uh, in fact, let's just grab this one because it has modern in the option name. Copy, paste that into the terminal and now we can press enter and Emacs is now installing. This will take some time, so please be patient. However, do not forget to copy this symbolic link command, which is going to allow us to access the Emacs app within our applications folder for ease of access to the GUI for Emacs. And there it is, and it looks horrible. So we are going to fix this. We are going to now go ahead, head over to GitHub and grab Doom Emacs, which is essentially a custom configuration uh, for Emacs that for us is gonna make it easier to use and look better without too much work. So now let's go ahead and access this. So heading over to uh, GitHub here, scrolling down, a little bit and what we need is the installation instructions a little bit more okay so i noticed right away there are some prerequisites here we need git that's installed emacs that's installed rip grep i don't think we have that installed so let's go ahead and brew install rip grep this should be quite quick and let's let that run great perfect uh, so that's now done. Uh, and then we are going to head back over to GitHub and see what else we need here. Uh, GNU find, I think we have that installed already, uh, but we do need uh, FD, so brew install FD. We get a download and that looks to be installed. Great. So now we have one last step, which is to clone the Doom Emacs repository and then run Doom install. And they have this for us in a beautiful uh, one-liner. So we're just gonna go ahead and copy that and paste it in to our terminal. Hit enter and Doom Emacs will install for us. Remember to say yes to the NVAR when you're prompted to do so because we are running a GUI in Mac OS. And then after a long time, you will be prompted once again to install all the icons and yes to that as well. And there we have it. We have Doom Emacs installed. Let's head, in, head on over to the applications folder select Emacs, and there you have it. Doom Emacs has been installed. My name is Mark, and thank you for watching.